last uh, past election officials here and the former county clerk, uh, Lance Johnson. And before I go any further, I'm going to ask Lance to come up, and I think we ought to start with a word of prayer because I think this is truly a blessing for all I can. Thank you, Josh. I commend you and congratulate you on your hard work and the good job that you're doing. And I know you're excited to see this milestone today. Father, we thank you for the beauty of this day that you have given unto us. We thank you for the gift of life, and we know certainly that is a gift from you. Help us, Father, that we may never take that for granted. Always be thankful and appreciative. We thank you for our community. We thank you for the way that we come together, that when there is a need, that we can depend on each other to be there to help and assist. Thank you for those who are concerned about the well-being and the care for the animals in our community, those that are homeless and those who seem to be strays. We just pray, Father, that uh, as this facility is about to be constructed, uh, that many of these needs might be able to be met. We thank you for those who give their time and their talent. and know there's many volunteers that are involved in this program. We thank you for each of those. And we pray that uh, you might give Josh the leader the knowledge and wisdom that he needs to make the proper decisions and to manage this facility in a way that uh, completes it. Thank you again for your love, for your watch care orders. Thank you for each one that has come out this morning and the concern that they have. We give you the praise and the honor for us in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thank you, Larry. Again, we welcome everybody, uh, a lot of people that are here today, you know how much this project means to us. Uh, I said on the radio earlier, when I got hired seven years ago, Gloria handed me a five-year plan that included a new animal shelter. And I looked at our budget, which is about $100,000 a year, and we spend every bit of it almost to operate, and I didn't figure how we'd ever get, how we'd ever get to this. And uh, thanks to her hard work on grant writing, uh, Kentucky Department of Agriculture. We secured about a little over $70,000 from them. And thanks to Representative uh, Tommy Thompson, who uh, did call me. In fact, I've got a little uh, letter here he wants me to read. Uh, we give those guys short notice. They've got a big project going on. And uh, Bob was ready to build. I think he was in a hurry. He was afraid it might rain or something. I don't know, <laughs> in the next day or two. So, uh, but uh, we want to get this project going. and. Uh, but because of those two efforts, we're able to be here today breaking ground uh, on this new uh, new facility. It's a 2,400 square foot uh, facility, which is about 600 more square feet than we've got now. We'll have the indoor-outdoor kennels, which is, we can't emphasize how important that is. It's, it's really going to help with disease, and we're just going to be able to have a much cleaner and nicer uh, facility, so we're excited about that. Uh, I want to thank, uh, we had a committee when we started this, uh, Judge Johnson came aboard and we got the money for the grant and um, he put together a committee and we really put, I'm most ex I'd be excited anywhere we'd be at building this building, but I'm really excited about being here because this was the number one spot from day one and we fought for it and this committee fought for it and I want to thank uh, Sheriff's wife Kay who's here, she served on that committee. Tina was here, uh, Gloria served with us, and also Susan Chin, she would be here today, but she left on vacation, and she really worked with us. I mean, you know, this is actually part of the park, and uh, I commended her for fighting for it, too, because, you know, she hated to lose this nice lot. You can look at it and see how pretty it is, but the court worked with her, and we made a good trade, and, and we're all happy today, so that's, that's what it's all about. We all work uh, together. Uh, I read this letter that Tommy faxed me. It says, Dear Josh, congratulations on your new animal shelter. I'm sure you, your staff, and the friends of the shelter, any of those out, are really excited and look forward to the new facility that will assist homeless, lost, and abandoned animals in our community. Thank you for your leadership at the Ohio County Animal Shelter and for making a difference in our community. Please let me know any time that I can be of assistance to your shelter. Best regards, Tommy Thompson. Again, he was big. He secured $60,000 that's going to this about two years ago out of Cold Severance money, so uh, uh, we appreciate him. Uh, now I ask uh, Judge 
You know, Judge Johnson worked as park director for 27 years, so and he had a lot of dealings with the shelter before I even came along, and uh, and he knows where we're coming from to here now, and he can probably put it a little bit better in the words than I can about how important this new place is, Judge. Okay, well, have commitment. The, one of the things that I wanted to do when I got elected judge, Judge, was to, to do something to help the uh, animal problem we have in the county. That's the way I, I looked at it. And a good facility is a good start on that. Uh, also, uh, we have an animal control ordinance now that as we enforce it more, is putting a whole lot of responsibility on animal owners. Uh, with this stuff, with the combination of having a good facility and a good tool uh, to work with in this ordinance, and you'll see a bigger commitment from the county on what we're able to do as we're getting more help for the shelter and things like that, you'll see that uh, we will, we will uh, really make a difference on this stray problem we have in the county. Thank you. I said, Judge, this court that we have right now, I've been part of three courts, and I know uh, they get some negative press every now and then, but I promise you, we've not had a more pro-animal court than we've ever had, and it's exciting to have all those guys. They, they've, uh, you know, they've been for this 100%. They've done everything they could. Uh, if you, some people are probably wondering, uh, about this new lawnmower sitting up here. No, it's not the new animal control vehicle. Uh, the court, uh, the judge and I talked a few weeks ago and uh, we know we are gonna be taking care of a lot more ground and the court uh, voted on Tuesday night to buy us this brand new lawnmower and uh, I expect it to still be here when I walk out the door, hopefully in 20 or so years. So uh, we're gonna take care of it. We're gonna appreciate it. And, uh, and we really thank the court for that, we thank each and every one of you here. Well, it's an honor that you're here with us. Uh, all the friends of the animal shelter that work through Tina and through us, we thank you. You know, there's there's been a little ruffle in the county over the last couple of weeks, uh, courtesy of the old uh, internet, uh, about some things that you know people didn't like some things we did. I challenge them to go out and look back 10 years ago at the numbers and come and look at it today and see where we're at. And, and they may think, see things are pretty good. And you know, the building Tina bit, built on her own, you know, and, and she just, well, she found out she lives down there. I think she's gonna move a camper <laughs> down there. But I mean, that's so much better. Uh, you know, she offers a spay and neuter trips once a month to Vandenberg County at low cost. When I got started, I could live with that excuse, well, it's too high, because I know it is high, because it's over $100 if you go to the vet. You don't have that excuse in Ohio County anymore. Uh, we can get you a low-cost spay and neuter, so spread that word. And that, the problem is not uh, the shelter. Don't be mad at us, because we have to do our jobs. Be mad at the owners that's not doing their jobs, and, that, and that's the ones that cause the problem. So uh, I thank all my volunteers and my staff been with me all along. We've added uh, Stephanie to our staff. We've got Brandon, like I said, Gloria, and just super volunteers, and uh, things are really good. And we're going to have, finally have a facility. I think we're going to see field trips. We're going to see kids come out here and be a part of it. You know, I wouldn't want them to come down there, you know. I mean, we made the best out of a bad situation, but we're finally going to have something that we're going to be excited to have see a school bus roll up here this fall or next spring and a bunch of kids get out. And we we can take them over in that area and let them play with the dogs and just everything's so much better. So uh, with that said, uh, we've got a little loose dirt here. Uh, I'm going to ask the judge to come up and Gloria and Tina to join me. I feel like it was all part of that. And Brandon and Stephanie come up beside us and we'll throw a little dirt and press in this thing. <laughs>